Hi guys, today we're in for a treat. We're gonna have a look at this house behind me here with these beautiful window boxes. Today, we're looking at the best house on the street, both inside and outside. The amount of work that's being done here is just incredible. The owner is a builder by trade, uh, a carpenter actually, I think, by trade. And he has just customized this house perfectly. I mean, everything has been done to precision, no expense spurred. It's gonna be a house you can live in for years and you won't have to spend a penny on it. Um, outside, absolutely beautiful. We've got this lovely tree, giving a bit of privacy. Obviously you've got parking went down the street. Uh, it's outside, it's maintained wonderfully. As are other neighbors, but this one really stands out. And Jersey Road, where we're stood at the moment, is a little side street on the ever popular ABC streets in Tooting Borders. Um, you can see you've got Sealy and Lynx that way. Um, we are probably, I don't know, maybe six minute walk from Tooting Overground Station. Maybe, I don't know, 15, 16 minute walk from the high street. Uh, obviously you've got all the cafes down uh, by the uh, overground as well. You've got the Lidl, you've got the shops, you've got bars, you've got pubs and uh, yeah, it's just a really cool spot actually. And it's getting more and more popular by the day. And one of the really good things about this uh, location is you are in some very good school catchment areas as well, which is perfect for houses like these because at an absolute rate of knots, these ABC streets are being bought up by families and the whole area has just transformed completely in the last few years. Um, just wait for this car to go past. We've got a little bit of building work going on behind us at the corner here. So many feebly trying to emulate what we've done on this house. Um, oh, I might get run over. But it's always good when you see building work going on around about. You know, you want to see that because it's just, it's people investing in the neighborhood and everyone's bringing everything up at the same rate. This house, number five, is, as I say, just one of my favorite houses I've seen in a long time. Everything inside is just has just been done to an absolute T. And if you know anything about building work or what goes into it, you will truly appreciate this house. Even if, even if you don't, let me come and tell you what's gone into it and why this is so special. So let's just start with the outside. So you've got double glaze throughout, uh, needless to say. You've got this beautiful wall that's been put in and the hedges are just immaculate. You've got the window boxes, both on the first floor and on the ground floor. You have front tap, just, can you see it here? Which is hooked up to an irrigation system that runs to feed your window boxes. So you don't have to get out there and water them every day. That looks after itself. You've got a nice little storage container in the corner here for your recyclables. Obviously the bins are tucked away out of sight and out of mind. The porch itself has been extended. Um, so a lot of the porches will be like next door. So inset is how that, uh, the house is naturally built. So obviously this has been extended, adding space into the hallway, light into the building, and just giving a sense of, you know, just a bit more freedom inside, I guess, when you first walk through the front door. Um, and to go with that, they've put on this very nice sort of glass uh, awning just over the door here. You get out of the rain or the sun, <laughs> as the case might be today. And then there's this beautiful solid oak door as well that leads into the house. So come on, let's go and have a look. I can't wait to show you this one. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Before we go inside, there's a surprise in this house. Something that no other house around here has got. You'll have to wait till the end. I'm gonna make you do that. You're gonna have to watch the whole thing to see what it is. But this house has one item that no other house around here has, and I guarantee every other neighbor wishes they have. See if you can guess what it is before I end the video. All right, let's go. As you walk into this wonderful home, you really get a sense of Grandeur, you've got this nice open hallway and stairs, which runs, I mean, the stairs run right the way through to the top floor, which is really, really unique. Most houses here have the stairs turn around and kick back on themselves, which, you know, in essence is because the people who do those loft conversions are not as skilled as the person who did this loft conversion. Turning these stairs around is a lot more work, there's a lot more skill involved, but Ultimately, it nets a lot more space and it gives a lot better flow to the house in general. And it's something that the owner here has really gone to the expense and the care to do. As you can see, looking down the hallway, right in front of us, we've got a, uh, a main bathroom, um, fully equipped. On the right immediately is the formal reception room. And then towards the end, we sort of 
turn right off into the wonderful open plan kitchen dining area. Just spinning around behind us, you can see again that gorgeous oak front door with the glass gleaming in the sunlight today. And throughout the whole place, you'll just notice so many custom features, custom cabinet trees, the flooring, just everything done to absolute precision. Just off the hallway itself here, you have a couple of really handy storage cupboards, so here and here. So you can obviously just tuck away all the bits and pieces you don't want out for everyone to see. Shelving running right the way through. And of course, tile on the bottom as well for a nice finish. And let's first take a look at the wonderful open plan kitchen dining area. So what the guys have done here is they've opened it all up at the back, pushed out this extension, which would have started from this wall here, right out, I just want to say probably three meters into the garden, which tr totally transforms the, uh, the whole space and how you can use the house. I mean, obviously if you're a family, you want to have this really nice dining space so you can stay together. You can talk at night. You don't have to eat on your lap constantly. And then rather cleverly, what they've also done is kept this room to the side as a study, which obviously at the moment is even more important than ever. Beautiful view as well out of this room. So certainly a place you'd like to do work from, I'd say. And it's really cool at the back of the house here. They've put these really handsome, large tiles throughout the whole of the, uh, the dining and kitchen space and into this study room as well, which as well as being beautiful and easy to maintain and giving a sense of light and space, also keep the property really cool on broken hot days like this. You know, you could quite easily spend your time here and then going outside and catch a bit of sun, come back in and cool down, do the cooking. In this room, you also have this wonderful oversized Lilith's window at the top, really adding to the amount of light and space. And of course you've got the French doors at the back leading to the beautiful garden. Now in the kitchen is totally inbuilt, except for this wonderfully large American style fridge freezer, which I think is an absolute must in houses like this. You know, if you've got a big family or yeah, hell, even if you're living on your own, I want a big fridge freezer. And here you've got plenty of space to put one in. The kitchen is being really designed well to allow all this sort of stuff to be included. Again, I think ice maker, got to be done. So, got the lovely Bosch appliances. Plenty of cabinet space. And it's just immaculate. It almost feels like nobody lives here. It's so nicely presented. I've been in show homes, which are not as clean as this. Hello. Now, just going hand in hand with all the other extras that the owner has done to this house. In the corner here, nicely tucked away from view, you've got washing machine and nice modern, oops, valent boiler. And then, Next door, off the study room, we've got this additional cupboard space, which houses the Megaflow style system. So what this does, again, is an extra expense the owner has gone to. The care and precision that he's taken to, to pipe this through the house is just incredible. Um, this will keep your water pressure high no matter what. 
We have three full bathrooms in this house. You could have all of those pumping away. Everyone in the shower, plus dishwasher, plus washing machine, and your water pressure will be exactly the same as it would be if just one person was in a shower. This is the beauty of the Mega Flow. It just makes life so much easier. Uh, and this one, actually in particular, again, the owner has gone to the extra lengths to buy a unit and, and fit it so that solar panels could be fitted retrospectively down the line. So if somebody wanted to come here and fit solar panels onto the roof, they could then hook them up to the to this mega flow system and the boiler, which, you know, it's just next level thinking, essentially. Um, this is one of those houses where, I mean, look at that pipe work, just how beautifully it's done. I mean, I know a lot of you don't care about pipe work, right? But usually it's a bloody mess because no one ever sees it. That's just done perfectly. And the reason why I want to point that out is not because maybe you'll care so much about how the pipe work looks, but it speaks to the workmanship that's gone into the entire house as a whole. Sorry, don't mind my notes on the floor just there. Everything here has been done with so much tender loving care. And it just means that when you come here, you ain't gonna have to go and, you know, pull apart skirting boards and redo electrics and overhaul the plumbing system and God knows what else you find in a lot of places that you buy. As you walk back past the dining space and through the French door, we enter this beautifully picturesque garden, just immaculately presented. Look at this cool seat. As you can see, loads of space for nice, table and chairs and you can see the extension at the back and the full impressive height of the house itself. The garden is just getting so much sun today and it's really really private as well. As we walk around you can see that you've got some very stylish lights on this side. In the bamboo beds on the left you've got some LEDs that light up as well. You know, you can sit out here at night and really enjoy the place. Obviously, you've got the outside taps, which is super useful. And it's just a glorious space to enjoy. Imagine being out here with your dinner on a Saturday night, sitting out on a Friday with a wine, in the morning, bringing your paper and your laptop out, sort of going through your emails and sitting out. What's quite nice, actually, is that, so it's, what, about half 11 in the morning at the moment, and half the garden is in sun and half the garden is nicely shaded just past the uh, the back extension here, which is absolutely perfect. It means that you can come and sit out here, enjoy yourself, read a book, be on your laptop, doing work emails, or just, I don't know, playing games and not have that glare off the screen hitting you. You know, you can actually sit out here and, and do stuff essentially, uh, instead of just, you know, you know, you may just want to sit out and bake in the sun, which in, in that case, you just go, two foot further and you sit on that end of the garden. You get the rays, you get the nice suntan, you fire up the barbie. And at the back, you've got this wonderful shed. It looks like something from Hansel and Gretel. It's really, really, really pretty. You can see as we walk closer, this is a shed with a Banham lock. Now you know a shed is serious when it has a Banham lock on it. Like everything in the uh, whole house, I mean, the owner just has done stuff to the next level. So this shed actually, you know, it, it's it's sitting on a brick pad. It's got underfloor heating in the shed. I mean, I, I want to say that again. It's got underfloor heating in the shed. That's a thing, apparently. I mean, wow. You've got windows, you've got lighting and electricity in here. I mean, at the moment, so the, the guy who owns this house, as I mentioned, is a builder by trade. And that is why everything has just been done perfectly. So this is kind of his, you know, I guess, little workshop um, slash sort of tool store area uh -huh. at the moment. Um, we're a bit piled up in here. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It is quite full of stuff. So it's not presenting it like at the moment. But imagine this stuff out of here. You've got the windows. You could maybe even put a Velux in if you want, wanted to. And this would just be the most incredible work from home space. You get rid of all the shelves, right? You get rid of all this space in here. And this is probably as big as a double bedroom. You've got underfloor heating. You've got lighting. You, you open out straight into the beautiful garden. You can have the door open for a nice breeze coming through. 
I mean, what a place to set up an office. And what a little sanctuary this garden is as well. You can get your sort of green fingers out. You do a little bit here. You do a little bit on this side. But actually, not much maintenance needed at all. Who wants to be lugging around the lawnmower for an hour every Saturday? I don't. I know we've already seen the kitchen and dining space. I just wanted to show it walking back into the property from the garden, just how beautiful it is. Again, it's so lovely in here as well because you've got the baking heat outside and you just walk into this space and you've got these high ceilings, the lovely tiling on the floor. It just keeps the place really cool. It's almost like I just walk back into air conditioning. So the first room we'll take a look at is just immediately on your right as you enter the property and it is this formal reception area. Just beautiful. Spinning you around, you've got the feature wall behind. This is solid American walnut cabinetry built at the end. The uh, owner of the house is a carpenter. Uh, I mean, I don't even want to imagine how many thousands of pounds worth of cabinetry and craftsmanship has gone into this house. That behind us is probably at least a couple of thousand on its own. At the front, you've got beautiful double glazing, which runs through the house. And look how wonderful this street is. We're just illuminated by the sun beaming through today. Really, really quiet. All the neighbors keeping their properties ship shape. And this is a really good size room. Obviously set up as the formal reception room. You've got the nice TV mounted on the wall. Plenty of space for your coffee table, big sofa, You've got a rocking chair as well in the corner here. The amazing downstairs bathroom has a real spa sense about it. It's tranquil and quiet and peaceful. And if I flick off this light, you can just really appreciate the nice glow you get from these blue LEDs at the side here, which have been set into the alcoves. You have a nice high heated towel rail behind us, so you can grab your nice warm towel in the winter before even having to step out of the shower. You've got a heated mirror, so no worries about steaming that up. If you want to have a shave as soon as you've had a shower, which I like to do sometimes, then you can do that straight away. The underfloor heating, again, is set in the bathroom on its own circuit. You can have that pumping away in the morning. So as soon as you get out of the shower, you have that heat flooding through onto your feet. If it's the winter, you don't have to do that sort of hop, skip and shuffle into your slippers like I do. And of course, you've got this beautiful soft closed glass door as well. There she goes. Perfectly inset into the pocket. So even if somebody is trying to cause a noise in the morning, well, good luck to them. They won't be able to. On the first floor, we find three nice bedrooms plus the family bathroom. So we'll start at the front of the house and go into what is currently being used as the main bedroom. I mean, absolutely flooded with light again. Great feature of these houses is this front first floor bay just really lets out in the light. Again, let's just have a look up and down this beautiful street. Trees in full bloom at the moment. And you've got, if I could just angle you down a little bit. It's really pretty. Plant beds on the windowsill. The original fireplace is still in the front room here. Lovingly restored to its full glory. And you've got a full set of down lighters fitted in the room as well. The second bedroom on this floor is situated just behind the main bedroom. Um, a fairly even size actually. Uh, it's a really, really good size double by itself. Uh, obviously you've got a giant, I guess, king size bed here. Um, and even with that in place, you have still loads of room. You've got all this inbuilt custom shelving at the side here. Obviously you've got 
plenty of space for a desk, nice TV mounted on the wall, chest of drawers, you've got the seating in the corner, and again with double glaze at the back, and set very, very, very far apart from the neighbours behind as well, which gives a real sense of privacy. Again, you've got the down lighters in this room and some pretty lush carpet running through the whole of the floor. The family bathroom was refurbished recently and you know, I, I can't say it enough times, everything in this house has just been done to perfection. I mean, every seam, every seal, every nail is hidden. Just what can be thought of has been thought of. So just beautifully fitted bathroom shower. You've got obviously sink, the shaving point, nice floating toilet, soft clothes, glass door, the heated towel rail, the grandiose large tiling running around, and you know, uh, as is sort of st almost standard in this house, but certainly in no other houses. You have the underfloor heating as well, located in the bathroom, which is totally controllable and isolated. Just taking a step beyond the bathroom a little bit, you have some really useful storage just under the stairs here. And then at the front of the property, we have the third bedroom. So a great kids room or guest area, or indeed somebody can convert this into work from home space. Actually, so there's a desk is fitted at the end here, which sort of flips up um, and out and can be used as a home office. You know, the owner thinks of everything. Loads of storage space set under the floating bed here, which again was custom, along with the cupboards and all built from solid oak. And then again, these houses have this beautiful mini bay at the front here. Just again, allowing more window space and more light to beam through the property. Heading to the top floor. Again, you've got those wonderful banisters and you are greeted by a massive amount of light flooding through. Not only have you got the nice big oversized Veluxes at the front there, flooding the light through from that room, Above us, if I can tilt you, you also have a wonderful skylight. Now, it's not often that you get skylights on the top floor like this. You have to go and fit them in on purpose because you know how much light it's going to bring in here. It's an extra cost, an extra hassle to do, but again, the owner has gone to that expense because they just do stuff right in this house. The first room we find here is actually my favorite room in the whole house. Uh, I don't know why, there's so many awesome rooms, but I can just imagine this being a wonderful bedroom. You've got a nice breeze coming through from the back here. Um, and here you go, look at this. This is custom sash window, designed and made by the owner. He does this for a living. Um, this is double glazed hardwood including the frame just absolutely beautiful uh they sell for an absolute fortune and there's two in this room <laughs> and then behind us we have again the wonderful american oak uh, sorry american walnut cabinetry uh one two three four wardrobe spaces plus three drawers set at the bottom so there's plenty of storage space in the room and just off it we have an amazing Ensuite, marble tiling throughout, rainfall shower, nice his and hers size shower actually there. Again, you've got the floating toilet just like downstairs, corner sink with double vanity, and again, this wonderful solid oak double glazed sash window. Um, I mean, when I went back earlier I was talking about the stairs being flipped around one of the big advantages of doing that and you know 
even though it's a lot more cost and hassle to do it, is that you do get so much more space up here, both in total floor, floor space and also in ceiling height. And you can really see that in these rooms. I mean, this ceiling is basically as high as the ceiling is on the first floor, which is almost unheard of and just makes the whole house feel so much different. So often you come to these top floors and builders will cut corners or, well, maybe not cut corners, but they won't go to the lengths that have been gone to here to make sure that every millimeter is gained in terms of the space and the head height you get. Uh, and it just gives, again, that sense of airiness and the sense of space. It's blazing hot today. We've got Veluxes galore up here, big windows, and it's still nice and cool in here. And it's really a testament to the, you know, the design and the flow of the house. Where that's often really felt is in the en suites where you have the showers built into eaves and you're sort of crouching down having to get into them. Obviously no problem at all whatsoever here. And then towards the front of this floor, we have this really good sized bedroom. Um, well, home gym at the moment, I guess. But equally, I mean, obviously it'll be a bedroom very easily just by moving these out of here and sticking a bed in. Um, or an office or a playroom or, I don't know, a snug man cave, woman cave, whatever you want really. Um, down the side, all along this wall, you've got storage built in which is really nice. Again, custom cabinetry, just done to perfection. You've got two of these top hung oversized Veluxes, which is just terrific. I mean, and again, you know, a day like this, you can just easily flip it open and have that breeze just rocking on through the house. Close that up and we have the inbuilt blinds as well. This room is a really, really good size. I'd, I'd say it may be the biggest room, uh, bedroom in the house. Uh, personally, what I may even do if I lived here, depending on how many kids you have and how you want to use the house, I would have this top floor as like the master suite, you know? You could have this as the bedroom, you could have that as the dressing room with the ensuite, separated from the kids, you have the two good sized rooms and the third room on the first floor. Equally, if you wanted to keep this as a granny annex, or you have a, a you know, sort of a nanny, living nanny, then that's absolutely ideal. They have their own space up here to relax. Now we've got a cupboard behind the door here. Remember I said I had a surprise for you earlier? Something this house has that no other house has. Watch this. What you have right there is a set of stairs that appear from nowhere. Let me take you up. And you tell me if you've ever seen a bonus space as good as this in a house around here. Welcome to the top of the world. So obviously right now we're just stood on top of the house. You have this roof terrace, which the owners built probably uh, more than 10 years ago. And it's just absolutely terrific. Obviously plenty of space up here. You've got hard decking. You've got a stylish metal balustrade running right the way around. Plenty of options for nice sunbathing in privacy with no one else around. Nobody else here has the roof terrace, as far as the eye can see. And you just have such a nice view up here. This is just the absolute, absolute quintessential London view. I dare say you see fireworks from up here, and New Year's and all that sort of stuff. But apart from anything, you know, you should just get away from the world. If the kids are doing your head in and they're downstairs playing in the garden, or your partner's playing music out there, or I mean, years with his mates or whatever it is just get up here no harm no foul your own little tranquil paradise bonus is up here obviously you can see you've got the plants and stuff set in the beds there isn't uh there is a tap right here so you don't have to chuck uh water through the whole house and also there is some inbuilt storage just in this little box here to give you bits and pieces in 
but what an awesome bonus and the final cap on what is just an unbelievable house i hope you can appreciate all the extra little bits that have gone into this house because you know there really really is a reason why this is so much better than any of these other houses below us and we'd love to show you in person so please get in touch so there you have it number five jersey road hope you enjoyed it as much as i did as i say this is a bespoke house to the next level if you want one of these houses around here and you want my respect you'll buy this one this is the best one it's just got so much going for it i personally think that especially at the moment you know this house just offers so much you know you have that outside uh sort of i don't want to call it a shed i want to call it sort of like a summer house that gives you that work from home space you have the study downstairs you have the nice cool rooms and the big tiles so you're kept out of the heat and you can easily work from home if you need to you're commutable to town dead easy just walk down to the uh, overground at the end there and you go straight into the city you have that beautiful garden which is low maintenance the sun terrace at the top bespoke cabinetry you won't need to do anything to this house for years to come please give us a ring come and see it this is a house that's going to look beautiful in the pictures it's going to look beautiful on my video but it's not going to look anywhere near as nice as it does when you come and have a look cheers